Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about applications of proteomics, disease and medical proteomics. Proteomics is used extensively to understand human diseases. The proteomics of humans are being investigated by different laboratories under the leadership of the Human Protein Organization. Steps in Proteomics Preparation of the sample Separation of proteins by two-dimensional gel electrophoresis A series of chromatography Identification of the proteins by mass spectrometry and by a comparison of protein sequence in the data bank. Next, we are going to discuss about disease. It is conceptualized by Mark Widen and his group at Harvard University in 2007. Attempts to establish a link between the gene and the disorder in humans. Many human diseases are monogenic in which one disease is controlled by a single gene. However, in some instances, mutations at different sites within the same gene produce a disease with different phenotypes. Example, mutations in TP53 have been known to produce cancer with 11 different phenotypes. In contrast, cell vigor syndrome can result from a mutation in any of 11 different genes. Widdell and his group shown that in 867 examples, one gene is connected to one disease, that is metabolic disease. In 516 cases, a particular disease was controlled by more than one gene. This can be seen in complex diseases such as cancer, neurological disorders. This is Mark Widdell. Next, we are going to discuss about medical proteomics. It is an attempt to describe human proteins as proteins are valuable to medicine as drugs or as target to study drugs and their side effects. Liver proteome is being studied in China. Brain, brain proteome is investigated in Germany. Different laboratories are investigating different proteomes. Medical proteomics is again divided into body fluid proteome, liver proteome, brain proteome, heart proteome, cancer proteome, organelle proteome and proteome of human parasites. Body fluid proteome. This is an important one because it flows through the body and comes in contact with several tissues of different organs in the body. Many fluids have been studied in detail including blood, urine, tears, amniotic fluid etc. Major challenge in the proteomics of body fluids is the large variation in the amount of a particular protein in different individuals. Body fluid proteome is of three types. Blood, plasma, serum proteome, salivary proteome and others that is cerebrospinal fluid, amniotic fluid and proteome of placenta. First we can see blood, plasma, serum proteome. The human heart pumps several gallons of blood through the body. Thus blood has the opportunity to pick up many proteins from the various parts of the human body that may provide a biomarker for a specific disease. Blood is complex in its constitution. It contains blood cells and cellular particles. Once the blood is centrifuged in the presence of heparin, that is anticoagulant, cells and cellular particles sediment at the bottom and the clear liquid left as supernatant, that is plasma. In the absence of an anticoagulant, Proteins clot in the plasma which can be removed by centrifugation and leaves a clear liquid containing soluble proteins. This is serum. Plasma is blood without the cells and serum is plasma without the proteins that clot such as transferrins. Next we can see salivary proteome. Saliva was considered to contain only two proteins that is amylase and mucin. Now it has been established that saliva contains a mixture of proteins, carbohydrates and liquids. Saliva provides immunity to several oral tissues and helps in dental development. Saliva proteome is the most non-invasive source to study proteins and identify biomarkers for several diseases. Others 
സെറിബ്രോ സ്പൈനൽ ഫ്ലൂയിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ക്ലൂസ് ടു ന്യൂറോളജിക്കൽ ഡിസോർഡേഴ്സ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ പാർക്കിൻസൺ ഡിസീസ് അംനിയോട്ടിക് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് റിവീൽ ബയോമാർക്കേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ജെനറ്റിക് ആൻഡ് എപ്പി ജെനറ്റിക് ഡിസീസസ് പ്രോട്ടീം ഓഫ് പ്ലാസൻഡ ടു ഡിറ്റർമിൻ ദ ഹെൽത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഫീറ്റസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഈസ് ലിവർ പ്രോട്ടീം ലിവർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ബൈൻഡ് വിത്ത് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫെസിലിറ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബോഡി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വാല്യൂബിൾ ഇൻ ഫാർമക്കോളജി it detoxify drugs by its metabolic activity proteins are evaluated as biomarkers for liver diseases the third one is brain proteome hupo has assigned the brain proteome project primarily to germany objective of this project is to decipher all the proteins in the brain and to identify the proteins involved in different neurodegenerative diseases example parkinson disease However, currently not much progress has been made. Fourth one is heart cardiovascular protein. To identify the indicators of heart diseases and to design drugs for their treatment. A 2D gel analysis of the heart protein has provided a protein map of the left ventricle of the human heart. This protein map identifies more than 110 unique proteins in the protein of the left ventricle. More than 200 proteins have been identified from the human myocardium. In addition, proteins of the sarcoplasmic reticulum have been identified. Fifth one is cancer protein. Cancer is a devastating disease that claimed more than 7 million lives worldwide in 2005. The major aim of proteomics is to identify a protein or a group of proteins. that can serve as a biomarker for an early detection of cancer the level of psa is used to routinely monitor the possible development of prostate cancer diagnosis and management the level of psa is not 100% another antigen that promises to be of use in the primary care of ovarian cancer patients is cancer antigen 125 Sixth one is organelle proteum. Organelle proteum is important because certain organelles such as mitochondria are exclusively responsible for specific metabolic functions. Mitochondria controls the respiratory chain, production of energy etc. The study of the organelle proteum requires the isolation of mitochondria or other organelles in pure form. The last one is proteum of human parasites. In addition to infection by viruses, bacteria and fungi, humans are infected by amoeba, protozoa and worms. Plasmodium falciparum causes malaria in humans. A cure through the development of drugs and vaccines has been unsuccessful because of the peculiar etiology and evasive immune system of the parasite. Thus the proteome analysis of the liver stage parasite has been undertaken in the plasmodium of mice. This is all about applications of proteomics in medical field. Thank you everyone.